Do you find it frustrating when your MLM prospects don't bother to show up for a scheduled phone call or meeting? It's extremely frustrating. It drives me crazy. So I set out to figure out some things so that I could get more of my prospects to show up. There's a lot of flaky people out there, but are, there are some things that you can do to help that situation. You know, I've come to the conclusion that a lot of network marketing prospects, they just get caught up in the moment during the conversation, but then they lose enthusiasm later, right? They get back to their life. They or they simply had one foot out the door when they made the appointment with you. The first thing to remember, not everyone is like you, right? A go-getter, so give them a break. But in this video today, I've got a few tips that are gonna help you with your flaky prospects that don't bother showing up for phone calls or appointments. You know who I'm talking about, right? They promise to watch a video, talk with you at a particular time, maybe attend an event, but they simply disappear into the land of excuses. Or even worse, they disappear without a trace, right? Never answer your messages or calls again. Here's some tips for you that are really gonna help with prospects who don't show up. The first one is improve your invitation skills. Much of the time when you make an appointment, with a network marketing prospect for some type of an invitation, they tell you they're going to be there, right? But do they really mean it? Eric Worre of Network Marketing Pro has some terrific advice about inviting. It's never just a one-liner and then off you go. For example, here's what he suggests, and I've used this and it really works in the case of inviting an MLM prospect to watch a video. Here's what you say. If I gave you a link to an online presentation that explained everything, would you click on it and watch it? Simple, right? If they say yes, then your next step is to ask the next question. When do you think you can watch the link for sure? Now, if they give you a flaky answer like, oh, I'll watch it sometime next week, or I'll watch it sometime in the next few hours, ask for a more definitive time. For example, I don't wanna waste your time or mine why don't we just try and lock in a time when you'll have seen it for sure? So right here, you're trying to get them to really make a commitment and you've said it more than once. If they say, for example, they'll watch the link by June 1st, your response should be, so if I call you on June 2nd, you'll have watched it for sure, right? Okay, now that you've gotten this far with your prospect, you ask your next important question. And this is gonna start wrapping it up. What's the best number and time for me to call? Think about this now. Your prospect has now said yes approximately four times to questions that you have asked them about when they're going to watch it. The chances that they'll actually follow through has now increased from under 10% to over 80%. If they still don't show up after all of that, this really may not be the type of person that you want to work with. We all deal with unreliable network marketing prospects, don't we? So use these tactics to get a prospect to say yes and really make a commitment more than one time. That is the key to having them show up on your calls and other type of appointments. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is Lisa Jarrett. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Be sure to click the link in the description where you'll get some more information about how to recruit leaders into your MLM business. See you next time.